So what's up, everybody? Like, listen, listen. So, like, I wanted to do something a little different. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I found this little crevice in this canyon, you know what I'm saying? I could put the phone and stash it out. And I thought I'd do it from, like, this today, right? So I come across pretty serious sometimes, and I am about certain situations, don't mind you. Certain things really, really get my goat, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, I won't stick for it. That's just being a man, you know what I mean? But most of the time, I'm pretty fucking, like, thinking everything. I, I think this shit's funny, right? Like, if you watch some of my videos, and the more you get to know my personality, like, and, and Chopper can contest, and he's, like, I met him off of this, and he's helped me out a lot, and we've become pretty good friends. You know, we send my, we send ours Chopper, you know what I'm saying? We know you ain't doing too, like, feeling too good. Like, hope you get better. But, um, like... If you watch my videos, you can see where, like, this shit, this shit's funny to me a lot of the times, right? And, um, because of certain reasons, you have to, under, you, you, to get what I'm saying, you had to live that life, you know what I'm saying, to a certain extent. And some of this shit funny, right? And, and it's going to stay funny to me because these cops are dumb as fuck, first off. And you're going to get me, don't mind me. I know, sooner or later, I know I'm going to get hit. But, like... Like, they just do some dumb ass shit, right? And so I got to put, I get to poke fun at them. If you're gonna fuck with me, I'm gonna fuck with you back. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm gonna have a laugh about it. Because in the, end, in the end, I know it's inevitable. You're gonna catch me anyhow. You know what I'm saying? So why not have a good time doing it, right? Like, run it fucking until the fucking wheels fall off. And sometimes I get a little stressed out and I get a little serious. You know, about sex offenders, I'm real serious. And I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you even, like, you want to talk shit about it when, I, when I'm talking about sex offenders and be like, oh, you probably, da, 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 nigga, like, don't miss me with that shit. You lame-ass, net-banging, motherfucking keyboard warrior. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when it comes down to point, like, I have fun with this shit, right? This shit's, this shit's pretty cool. I get to do shit that the people, that people, like, like they, they don't, they, they want it, like, they, their whole lives they think they want to do, right? You, you don't know the rush. The rush. Fuck drugs. Fuck fucking pussy. Fuck fucking goddamn anything like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't know the fucking, you don't know the rush and the adrenaline you get that when fucking they hit the red and blue lights and you hit the gas and you're off road. You know what I'm saying? That's a motherfucking rush. I don't care how many times you do it. It never gets old. And, it, and, 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 and I don't know. Like I, I do. I, I never, ever, 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 hypothetically speaking, you know what I'm saying? This is all. This is all just a story now, right? You know, you hear me now. You get me. Like we're telling a, a bedtime night story. So once upon a time, there was this this white dude, right? Right. And he, he tried to live right for a little while, but the police just wouldn't let him. So he was like, "Fuck the police!" Right? Right? Are you guys getting tired? No. So, I'd be like, you speaking, like, I never ran from a cop before in my life. You know what I'm saying? And I might have out here for the first time. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's a rush. There's a rush. That being said, the fact, like, you know what I ran from the fucking, the police sport for the first time, and I admit it, like, I was moving people back in the day. You know, we were moving a good amount of people. And I know, not no sex crimes, not no weird shit. Like, I did a family one, so it was a mom and a dad, and they did, and like, at least that's what they said. And it felt good to get some people across it, you know what I'm saying, that, that, like, that, that, that needed help, you know what I'm saying? Or let some fucking schmuck do it, and then lose them out there, and they, you know? Like so, and I knew the trail. That's how I kind of I knew the trail. That I kind of got into it, and I took these people through, right? And then, but I had never done nothing like that before, right? I lied to get the job, right? I lied and told them because I had a kid out here, and I had an old lady out here, and I panicked because when the water dry, when when, I, when the water stopped, there was no more money coming in, and I wasn't hustling dope yet. I wasn't doing nothing. I was doing the right thing by working. I think you know, I was selling water for Charlie. My, my pops had just passed, and like he started out as my boss. I called my pops because he took him took me in when I was young. Like, but like, so I told the guy that fucking told me to get the quad from the other dude that fucked up. He asked me if I'd ever done this before. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I've done this before. You know, like, like I live on the border my whole life. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I'm, from, I'm like, how do you think I eat, dog? Like, I'm from Texas, dog. Like, fucking this is what we do, right? I was lying through my teeth, right? But I had a kid and I panicked and I figured, fuck it. So my first night we got chased by a bunch of them, right? And he took me straight down the canal. Me not knowing that he was fucking like, all right. He, he bought the story until he seen me sitting on the bike. When he seen me sitting on the bike, he knew, the motherfucker knew, that I had never rode a bike before, right? Like, now, that being said, the fact, 
if I'm, and I lied to him, and I, I'm supposed to have his back out here in the desert and doing, do, you know, us running from the fucking the law if we have to. If somebody gets hurt, then I'm supposed to be able to take, you know, I'm supposed to be able to hold my partner just like he can hold me if, if shit hits a fan. And I lied and said that I knew what I was doing when I didn't. So he took me straight down the canal top. Like, all right, motherfucker, you want to bullshit me? Let's see how good you think you are. You know what I'm saying? And, and he usually, I was bait. Right? He, he told me to stay like 10, 20 feet back on the bike, 90, 30 feet back. So, and, but so that by the time he seen the cop up front on top of the canal and flipped the bitch and I waited for him to go by me and I didn't know how to drive. I was learning how to shift pretty much kind of like I picked it. I could, I could use a manual, but, you know, I could use a stick on a car. So like I just listened for the motor, but I was granny shifting it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he flew past me by the time I went to go make a shift that uh, turned up and flipped the bitch. The police was on my nuts. Right. And then I couldn't flip the bitch because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> so I ran up next to him and fucking hauled ass. And I kept screaming, fuck, fuck, fuck. The fucking pollo, the illegal, is screaming, la migra, la migra, la migra. No shit, stupid. Like, the lights and the sirens didn't fucking tell you that, you know, that we had fucking cops behind us, right? No. Like, you know, like, and all the way up the hill, I'm learning how to shift up, down, listen to the motor. But the bike has been wrecked by three other polleros before me, right? So, like, it was just a mad mix-up, right? And that's the kind of shit I get to do or I've done out here, like, because and I'm, when I'm saying this, trying to feed my family, like I was, I'm a, I'm a motherfucker trying to fucking survive in the fucking one of the, the damn near the poorest county in the U.S. Like our per capita per fucking, our, 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 I think it might be, we have had the lowest unemployment, like and and, and, and you no know, people having jobs down here and, and, and below poverty rate, and over, all over the U.S. Dog, like for the longest time. Now telling me from Slab City, right? Tell me from Slab City, and you'd like to get a job instantly. You ain't getting a job. I don't give a fuck what the job is. Very rarely. There's been every now and then when they, they'll hire. But like, that motherfucker probably ain't been in slabs that long. But like, you telling me from the slabs? No. Go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. Tell me from the slabs. You know what I'm saying? Like, like instantly, you a junkie. Or you put you, you in there trying to cop a fix. You know what I'm saying? Police, how they treat the slabs. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we, like, we got motherfucking people out here too that ain't illegal, right? That don't do dope, that don't steal, you know what I'm saying? That don't fucking feel their like bullshit. They just normal motherfuckers that fell on some hard times. Do I, am I one of them? Probably not, I'm gonna be real with you. But like, this place turned me into what I am, right? Like, and I said, they say you, you, can, you, can, you can step out, you know, but when you, when you really, when you push into a corner back then and you got your daughters to feed and diapers to put on the table and there ain't no money out here and they tell you, hey, take this fucking, this Hispanic dude, you know, or this lady, and, and hey, we'll give you fucking 1500 bucks. All you gotta do is get them fucking goddamn fucking 100 miles. And you can, and you haven't had diapers in the house. You're using like anything. You're gonna do it. If you're a man, if you're a man, my nigga, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. Like, you're gonna feed yours no matter how. You gotta get it, dog. And that's the sad part. So I, I am my own. I'm, I'm the product of an environment. They say that's as an excuse, but it's not. That's some true shit. Right? Now, that being stated, the fact, you know what I mean? Like, I got better morals than most motherfuckers in Babylon do anyhow. Most these motherfuckers, you neighbor get, you, your neighbor gets robbed, he don't even know who robbed you. Nobody's seen nothing. Right? But, like, the slabs looks out for it. But, like, we get treated fucked up out here by the whole county. Not just the police now. Don't mind you. I'm not I'm not just saying the cops are the one. If you say you from slabs, right, and you try to get a job, instantly, they ain't trying to fuck with you. Now, am I saying that we have a lot of bullshit out here? We do. But that, that you, you, you judging a, you judging a whole group of people, you know what I'm saying? Off of uh, off of some people. Like, now if I now we don't want to do it by race, well we shouldn't do it by where a motherfucker lives at neither. You know what I'm saying? Or how a motherfucker you know what I'm saying, talks or anything. Anything a motherfucker he, he should not be judged. He should be judged by his character. You know what I'm saying? But like if you tell, if you say you're from Slab City, then you like to get the plague out in this motherfucker. And I've been here a long time. Now, I've I've met some good homies here. Like I got some good homeboys here that and I've been down with I did some time with. But like on a whole, on a whole, it is what it is, and it's also partly our fault, right? It's partly our fault because of how it is out here. It's fucking rough neck out here. But what do you think? It, like when you came out to Slab City, what do you think it was gonna be? What do you think it was gonna be? You, like, it, it's off grid living. There's no electric. There's no running water. You know what I'm saying? Poor motherfuckers come out here. Most of the time, they don't even got a trailer. They get a hand me down, kick down trailer to them, right? Like, and there's definitely no work in Slab City. Let me tell you. You can take a shithole in, like, including in the summer. In the summer, it bottoms out real bad. Some bottoms out hella bad. So now you got kids, and you ain't got no place to go. Like, your brand broke down. 
You know what I'm saying? Or you, you, like anything happened. You got stranded here and you stuck here, but you're going to do what you got to do to eat and make sure yours eats too. You know what I'm saying? Any man would. Tell me they wouldn't. Tell me as a man, you, whoever was watching this, that you wouldn't do what you had to do right now to feed yours if it came down to it. You would. You know what I'm saying? Or you ain't a man and you're a lame. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is this. Don't judge a whole group of people by anything. Like, I'm saying this, and I ran, the, I ran the line, homie, and I ran the race wars in prison. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this as a man. Like, do not judge because you know what? You don't know what that next nigga, that, that, that nigga next to you is going through. And I, like, I'm real shit. I was a white boy. I grew up in the hood, you know what I'm saying, and on the streets a lot. So, like, I didn't fit in with the fucking, with the white boys too heavily, too well. You know what I'm saying? Did I do, did I run white? Yeah, because fucking, there's a point in the time when you didn't do nothing but do run your own race in the joint. And I fought with, I fought with mines. You know what I'm saying? I fought next to mines. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the irony of that is, I'm not racist. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 that's what I'm preaching this shit for. That's what I'm preaching about the slabs. I don't want it. I, I don't believe a person should be judged by anything other than his actions. Fuck what you look like. Fuck what you come, where you come from and how you sound. Your actions. You a good, you a good homie? Then you my nigga. Let's ride. If not, get the fuck away from my face. You guys have a nice day.